what is up guys it's the scripting legend here and today i am back in my head simulator game on roblox and today we are about to add the animation to our um to our tool and we are also going to be adding a backpack so like a storage so that we can't go over so yeah that's going to be nice when we add some guis as well um so yeah let's do we can do that so the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our starter pack and into our weight tool gonna um want to insert a local script we can rename this local script to animation and guys now i'm about to teach you the greatest trick the keyboard slap Boom, right that like that you get the script by just using the simple keyboard slap trick. Alright, so now let's make this animation. So I already made a pretty decent animation that's um already in my script, but um I'm gonna do try to do this animation with you guys. Remember I am not the best animation. I I am not the best animator. I am not an animation at all that would be weird all right so um let's go to our animation editor um let's click on our dummy we can rename this to lift okay now we can click on the um right arm just put it into like the starting position of how like you start when you hold it all right so you start like that pretty much um so then we're gonna go over keyframe I'm gonna like rotate it um down a little um then we're gonna rotate this up a little this we're gonna make it go down more all right then we're gonna go that um hold the keyframe more we'll bring this back up a little this up more and then um one more keyframe and this will go up like that now let's just put it on a loop real quick and watch how this looks okay let's um stop this let's just bring this back here and then let's just play it once okay i have a feeling that this is going to be a horrible animation but um you can make your own animation and make it look good. So um, let's just click on these three dots here. Click export. Uh, just you can change the title if you want. Creator. It just hit submit. Once it's done, uh, you can either click here and then just copy these numbers. But it's easier, I found, since you can't highlight this. So where it says ID, just click right here. And it says ID copied. Okay. So now we can just X out of the animation editor. We can delete the dummy. Let's go into our animation. Um, right, real quick, I'm just gonna make this one a comment. Then I'm just gonna copy this. Make this one a comment as well. And then copy this one right here. And just paste it here, just in case this is like really bad. Like even worse than we expected. All right, so now let's hit play. Right, so wait for it to load us in. All right, so we are here. We hold this humongous, the wide weight. Um, all right, we click and um, our animation plays. Actually, this is not that bad. No, we'll keep it for the sake of the video. <laughs> Even if you think it's horrible, we're still keeping it. All right, so now we can hit stop. And um, what we can do now is go into the start GUI, insert a screen G, insert a screen GUI, name it to um, HUD. And inside of it, we will have a lot of things. So, but the first thing we're gonna do is insert a text label. Okay. Um, we're just gonna set the size to whatever we want. 
something not like crazy big but not too small so like about this size uh that's 0 0.174 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 um now we can go to our plugins we can roundify this and we can go to our plugins just get that off our screen um just go to the text label Set the Z index to like three, just in case we have to add something else after. Uh, we'll do text scale to true, font to sources sans bold. Um, we can make it say zero slash zero slash zero. Uh, we can make the text color to white, text stroke transparency to zero, and um, lastly we're gonna click on the roundified one, put the image color. Uh, we can just set it to like some nice blue. Alright, that's pretty nice. Alright, so now that we have this, we can um, rename the text label to we can rename the text label to storage. Alright, now um, let's go into server script service. Go into our leader stats, and we are going to have to insert um another thing. The all right, so we're just gonna drop two lines and we'll do local um, storage is equal to instance dot new um, uh, in value com player and we'll do storage dot value is equal to zero. I mean not zero is equal to ten. So that's going to be the starting storage, but before that, the storage dot name is equal to storage. All right. So now that we have that in there, we can just accept how. Um, and inside of the storage text label, we can insert a local script. We can do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Then we're going to have to do um. Let me just clear my output. We're going to do local st is equal to player dot storage dot storage. All right, and then we're going to do while wait do. Okay. Okay, so actually, <clears throat> instead of doing that, I'm going to do our, all of our favorites, the keyboard slap. Alright, so I'm just going to um, do this. And we'll just, um, so yeah, you can copy the script. This is just so that, um, This is so that it abbreviates. So let's just add some more abbreviations since we're making a simulator. We're gonna get to big numbers. So we'll add a T for trillion and a QA for quadrillion and a QI. And that's all we'll do for now. Um, if you wanna learn how to make this script also, make sure you check out my, um, my later sets GUI video. But the link, oh my gosh, the card will be in the top right corner. So I guess it's kind of like the link, but yeah. All right, so we're still gonna have to do some stuff. So this is not perfect yet. So right now it's, um, we'll leave this, but then we're gonna have to concatenate this, um, put a slash, then um, concatenate, st dot value all right and we actually messed up right here this is supposed to be um player dot leader stats dot wait the um strength we have to do dot strength dot value all right so um that's just so we have it formatted like that but now um if we go to test, this backpack thing will not work. Even though our storage is 10. Let's just wait for it to load. Okay. 
All right, even though our storage is 10, um, you'll see that if we lift with this weight, um, when, let's just get to 10 real quick. Okay, 9, 10. I'll be able to get to 11. See? Let's change that. I'm going to change that right now. So, inside this local script, we're going to drop a line. We're going to do if, um, if player dot leader stats dot strength dot value is equal to um, st dot value, then um, we're have we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to make some statements so um, that we're gonna have to disable the a script that's inside of the wait tool so we're gonna have to do it we're gonna have to find if it's in the character or if it's in the player's backpack so first we're gonna have to we're gonna check if it's in the player's backpack so we're gonna do if player dot backpack all right so right now we are accessing the player's backpack then we'll do colon find first child Alright, so now what this is doing is we're, we entered the player's backpack. Now we're trying to find if one of the child's um, name is whatever's in these speech marks. So, um, if you guys don't know what child is, it's just like, let's say, alright, here, I have a good example. This local script is the child of this text label that we named storage. So that means that storage is the parent of the local script. Another way to see this is that if we go into local script and its properties, you see parent is storage. So I'm trying to see if there's a child inside backpack called whatever we put inside of these speech marks. So if we call it this, it's going to see if there's um whatever that is inside of the backpack. But um, we're trying to see if it's the weight, so we're going to type weight. Just make sure we spelled it correctly. Yep. Okay. So if player, if we find a um weight in the player's backpack, then now we can do player dot backpack dot weight um dot wait. Let's just see what we called that. Our right, dot add strength dot add strength um dot disable is equal to false i mean true true not false true all right so um why we didn't have to use the player like why did we have to check if the if the weight was in the backpack so if we just called this line and the weight was not in the backpack it was in the character we would get an error so that's why so now we have to do um else if else if um player dot character so this time we're going into the character and trying to find a child um inside the character that is called weight and we'll do then okay and then we'll just player dot character dot weight dot disable is equal to true okay and now so this closes off that if statement so after this end we're going to add an else and then um we're going to add an if player actually here instead of doing this again we're just going to copy this what we just did we're going to copy that and paste it in here and um just actually the same thing except for right here where it says um true this time we have to make it false because what our else did right here what this else did since we're outside of this if statement already so we're not checking if the weight is in if the weight is in the stuff or anything like that um we're in this um if statement we else did this so if um if the If 
basically if this if our strength value is not equal to um our storage value then um whatever we put here will happen so in this case this all right but let's just um just to add like some extra strength to this like just to make sure that nothing goes wrong we're gonna make an else if and we're gonna after that do player dot leader stats dot strength dot value is less than um no that's good is less than um st dot value then all right so this is just to make sure so now if we go ahead and play this to test it Or if we lift our weight 10 times. Oh yeah, so our animation's glitching. We'll fix that in a second. Um, yeah, so we did something wrong by accident. So we have to just... Disabled is not a valid member of tool. All right, so we, um, we, we skipped something right here. We said weight.disabled. We just said player.character.weight.disabled. What we had meant to do is player dot character dot weight dot add strength dot disabled. So we have to do that right here too. Add strength. All right. So now if we play this, it should work. So, all right. We have our weight equipped. We're lifting. All right. We're at ten. Um. I'm clicking more. As you can see, my animation's firing. Uh, you might be able to hear my mouse clicking because I'm putting it right against my mic. So yeah, um, we can't go over 10, but if we go to sell, sell our strength for coins, this goes back down to zero and we can go again. So that's nice. There's our backpack. Um, yeah, we'll make it so that we can get more backpacks later on in a different video um so yeah actually yeah um we'll do that but we don't want our storage to be this small so i'm well actually i don't you might um i'm just gonna increase it on, um to like a big number so that we are a really big number so that we can like um see and make sure that our abbreviations are working and everything oh okay uh we have to do one more thing to our leader sets so i'm not going to spoil that by testing um right there it wouldn't have had abbreviations for on um, one side because we just did st dot value but what we had to do what we have to do is format and then we have to add a brackets and inside the brackets we have to have um our st dot value comma two not dot two comma two all right so now if we play this it should um everything should work just fine as you can see we have 10 million storage and um yeah so for now that that this is going to be it so um thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed and this helped you out please remember to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye